and I do read about um, philosophy, and it has helped me a lot in thinking about experiments. So there is a philosopher called Karl Popper, who was a, 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 a philosopher from Austria, who worked for many years in the London School of Economics in London. And he um, influenced me a great deal, because what he pointed out is that the following, I just briefly explain, that um, what he, he said is that the way you make progress in science is to destroy hypotheses rather than prove hypotheses to be true. So what he was saying is, look, you make some data and some observations and you collect it together and make a hypothesis. And then when you have the hypothesis, you go back again because that allows you to make new tests which allow you to think of new experiments. And those experiments test whether the hypothesis is true or false. And if they um, show the hypothesis false, you have to think of another hypothesis, right? And only after repeated testing does this hypothesis stand. So what this means is that science sometimes is very tentative. You, you don't, it's very provisional, and sometimes it's very secure. And it depends on how many tests have been carried out, because have you destroyed alternative and bad hypotheses during the process? 